debatably the greatest country on the planet, A. Eh? Americans walk around with a cell phone that can help them do their banking. One of the most secure things, or should be, keeping track of your money. And you know what? That pretty well works. That cell phone do your money thing. That internet do your money thing. The transaction's solid. It's all electronic banking. It existed before this stupid cyber dollar shit came into being, which is another scam. Jeffrey dollars out there on the internet. A way to wash money. So somewhere in our politics, we're sitting here on a cell phone with the most advanced technology available to the average person. We use it every day, and we can't figure out how to vote. We can't figure out how to track money being washed through a financial system when every single dollar bill has a serial number on it. We can't figure out why education is more important than nuclear weapons. We can't figure out why this small percentage of religious zealots have some sway over the medical, medical profession of this nation. This great country is still great. And yet we're being fiddled with. That insidious tea party shit that began to normalize libertarian question the stops do we need let's debate stop signs let's spend a lifetime debating whether speed limit signs should be valuable or not and let's extend this great philosophical conversation into government itself <laughs> truly I, i'm enjoying the games going on around the pollution, the noise introduced into our conversations from so many different angles makes us look like idiots. Eh? Thoughts and prayers. Good. Make them work. Take it out in the streets. Shit's being normalized. And I'm not... Yeah, I am talking science. This is a T norm, a temporary norm created by the local environment that really needs to go away. Which one's the right God that's guiding this? Pollution doesn't seem to care. Anyone notice that? Pollution of our conversations doesn't care. Pollution of, an, of our environment keeps going. We've moved our pollution overseas. Nobody noticed. We never stopped consuming. We never did it better. We just moved full speed ahead. More profits for the few. And yet here we are. We're still here. So if you were born, you have a right to be here. Period. Your mom and dad made a decision to bring you into this world, whether it was voluntary or not. That part's pretty well set and agreed upon. So, blame your mom and dad, and then look in the mirror for where you are. Because no matter how much you try to transfer responsibility to a higher power, you made some decisions. I made some decisions. This is the challenge with atheism. You have to own your shit and be responsible for it. And you stew for a while. But this, this is just wrong. How obvious is it to most people, to the majority of folks, how wrong these conversations are? How, how much... It's meant to just change the topic that you started with.
Pollution doesn't know states' lines. Pollution doesn't read any of the papers that we write. It simply does what it does, just like nature does what it does. Merry Christmas.